Hello everyone, hope you are learning well. So in this video, we'll discuss the first problem of lead code weekly contest 335. It's an easy level problem. Uh, however, the accuracy is pretty low. So uh, let's see what the problem is trying to say. The problem name is pass the pillow. So it says that there are n people standing in a line labeled from 1 to n. The first person in the line is holding a pillow initially. Now every second, the person holding the pillow passes it to the next person standing in the line. Once the pillow reaches the end of the line, the direction changes and people continue passing the pillow in opposite direction. Okay. For example, once the pillow reaches the nth person, they pass it to n minus 1th person, then to n minus 2th person and so on. Now given two positive integers n and time, return the index of the person holding the pillow after time seconds. Okay. So n and time are the two things that will be given to you. <clears throat> Let's see the first example n equals to 4 and time equals to 5. So as you can see, we have uh, four people, right? So in the first second, one passes it to two. Then in the second, two passes it to three. Third second, three passes it to four. Okay, now three seconds are over. We have reached the last person. Now the direction will change. Okay, so at the fourth second, four will pass it to three. And at the last, that is fifth second, three will pass it to two. Hence, after five seconds, or five unit of time what happens two has the pillow so two will be your answer okay similarly if i take the second example so i have three folks and time equals to two so at the first second one passes it to two at the second second two passes it to three and hence after t equals to two third person has the pillow so three is your answer okay uh, the constraints are n can go up to thousand and time can go up to thousand okay so brute force approach would work here where you run a loop okay where you run a loop uh, for t time and see that uh, where the pillow is at the end right uh, however the other approach could be so there are certain things to observe okay now what are those things so just a second yeah so just see <clears throat> if i take this example so i have four people one two three four right how many steps are there how many steps do I take to reach from the starting person to the ending person? It's one, two, three, right? So the chain has three steps or I can say n minus one steps. Okay, this is the first thing. Also, the second thing that the problem is saying that there can be two ways of moving the pillow. Either it can be this direction or it can be this direction. That means from left to right or right to left. These are the two directions. So what we need to do is if, if I am able to find that, so just see, if I move from left to right, okay, and while moving from left to right, I am at, I want to know who is the third person, right? Or after the third step from moving, when I move from left to right, after the third step, third step who has the pillow, then whatever is the answer, suppose that is X. So that X will remain same, even if I move like this, I move like this, any number of times and at last I'm moving in this direction so it doesn't matter how many round trips I have I have completed at last if I want to find that at the exit step who is the person then that answer will not vary right that answer will not vary like like if uh, time is uh, time value is thousand or a pretty large value however the n value is small so what happens just see one two three four these are the four folks okay so what I'll do is and time value is large so i will complete many cycles right i'll i can go like this just a second yeah i can go like this then i can come like this go like this come like this and so on so this all will consume how many steps each step each each traversal will complete three steps or n minus one steps at at last i will have some of these steps remaining okay now all i need to do i need to find that at which point of this chain am i okay when the number of steps remains less than n minus one, then where am I standing? Okay, so that's the trick of this problem. All that is what you need to do. Okay, so now what I have done is I have found out the direction. The first thing is I found out the direction. And the second thing is at the last traversal, where am I standing? That's the, the these are the two things that I found out. So the first thing is uh, also the variable naming is poor here because again, I was writing the code for a contest. So, uh, just to save time, I wrote this code. So x equals to time uh, divided by n minus one. This is uh, th this I have done because I want to know 
that how many traversal will I have to do? Okay, for each traversal, how many steps are there? N minus one. So this is what I need to do. Now, if time mod n minus one is not equal to zero, x plus plus. This is because suppose you have three steps, one, two, and three, and your time equals to four. So what will happen? You will do time one. At time one, you will be you will do this. Time two, you will do this. Time three, you will do this. Means one, two, three, this, right? And at time t equals to four, you'll come here, right? You'll come here. So this is what I'm trying to see that at, at which traversal am I? Am, uh, am I? So this is uh, the first traversal and I am at the second traversal. At time t equals to 4, I am at the second traversal. That is what I want to do. So this will tell me whether I am on an even traversal or an odd traversal, right? These two lines, these lines, okay? Now, once I'm done with it, the next thing that I will do is I know now whether I am in left to right direction or right to left direction now the sec second thing i want to i want to do is that where uh, in whichever direction am i am where am i standing so what i'll do <coughs> mod is something that i'll find out okay mod is something that i'll find out now how will mod help here so whatever steps you are performing okay the last uh, in the in the last traversal what will happen you will have less than n minus one steps because you are taking mod from n minus 1 so that is what you do time mod n minus 1 this is the mod now if your mod equals to 0 that means you have reached the end of a cycle okay here or here so you do you do it n minus 1 why you are doing this i'll tell you okay you do n minus 1 now the first first thing is if x mod 2 equals to equals to 0 meaning if my direction is in this uh, sorry if my if my direction is like this now this is left to right left to right so here here your x will be odd and from moving moving from right to left it will be even so if it is even if it is even then you do n minus mod right you do n minus mod right because you have n people okay you have n people and if you are standing at suppose um, what do you call it uh, <coughs> sorry uh, zeroth position right here if, if your mod was zero so you do n minus one that means you have traversed n minus one steps simple you have traversed n minus one step because the last step will tell you how many steps you have traversed right how many steps you have traversed and if you are moving from left to right then what you will do so suppose so you move in this direction you move in this direction so what do you do you do one plus mod because if suppose your mod was zero so what what me what does it mean that you have performed zero steps in the last in the in the last traversal you have performed zero steps so you start from one to one plus zero you return first person if you have just performed one step so what do you do you perform one plus mod will be one so one plus mod so you are at the second person right so exactly the same thing either from left or to right so only finding these two things uh, will help you in solving this problem obviously as i told you the other way is to run a loop but this one is the, um, I would say, yeah, the one solution. How do you solve this problem, right? So, yeah, that's it for this problem. I hope you learned something new from this video. Uh, do support it by giving up thumbs up. Do subscribe to the channel as well. Uh, in case of any queries, mention that in the comment section. I'll revert on each one of them. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.